ulit sa online na uh, classroom natin. So, ngayon pag-uusapan natin yung uh, case 2 ng trigonometric integrals. So, merong 9 cases to according to the TC7 book. Pero, uh, for this video, isa lang, no? case 2 lang. Yung other cases, sa ibang videos naman. So, pang, uh, hanapin nyo lang sa playlist natin yung ibang, ibang uh, cases. No? So, may mga sample problem din na dinidiscuss natin. Okay? So, yung case na natin is for sin x, uh, cos x. And then, at least one of the exponents is a positive and integer. So, itong n tsaka m, uh, exponent yan. Tapos, uh, para sa case 2, either no either sa n or m is uh, positive and integer. So, again, positive dapat. Kasi pag negative, magiging over yan. Mapupunta sa denominator. And then, add integer. No? So, yung add again is a uh, integer na hindi siya divisible by 2. Kasi yung divisible by 2, even yan. So, add integer, you have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, etc., etc. Okay? So, solution for this uh, uh, particular case is, uh, pag n is add, ibig sabihin yung kapartner ng sign is add integer, ito yung magiging form natin. So, susundin lang natin yung reduction ng form. Sign n minus 1, etc., etc. Tapos, ito yung final na form natin na pwede na nating ma-integrate, okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, ang nagbabago lang na variable is yung n and then minus 1. And then, ito, m, copy lang naman yung uh, integer ng cosine, no? So, yan. Dapat uh, depende, no? At least, uh, isa sa kanila ay n. Pag m naman, ibig sabihin yung kapares ng cosine ay positive add integer. Ito yung gagawin nating form. So, ito yung... Uh, reduction bali. No? So, itong integral, dapat magiging ganito na para ma-integrate natin. Okay? So, dito naman, kakapin nyo lang yung n. Ang magbabago lang dito is yung exponent nito. No? So, nakadepende siya sa uh, exponent na m, m minus 1 over 2. Okay? Tapos, simplify nyo lang equation. Depende no, na meron may expansion or distribution ng mga terms para ma-integrate natin. No? Para ma-simplify, pwede nang ma-integrate. Okay? So, sample problem tayo para dyan. So, pag bibigyan tayo ng ganitong uh, form, sin cube x, cosine 4, uh, x dx, pag titignan mo, hindi mo makagamitan ng uh, trigonometric uh, function, kunwari na integral, no? kasi wala eh, may kapares. Pag u substitution naman, hindi rin pwede. No? Kasi pag u is cosine, meron kang si, uh, exponent dito na, syempre, hindi swak yung derivative yung d yun ito dito. Uh, kabaliktaran din, no? Pag ito naman yung u, hindi naman ito yung representative ng d u ng sign. Okay? So, anyway, kaya meron tayong ganitong cases. No? So, recall na pag uh, n is add, ibig sabihin, uh, ito yun, no? Yung n. Kapartner siya ng sign, yung n. Ito kasi m, no? So, ang n dito is add. Ito yung magiging form na goal natin. I-reduce natin yung equation natin into this particular form para pwede na nating ma-integrate, okay? So, simulan na natin. So, dito na tayo sa second form, no? So, sine squared x, given yan. And then, we have n minus 1 over 2. That's uh, 3 minus 1. That's 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, hindi na natin kailangan ilagay dyan, no? And then, we have cosine 4x, kasi 4m. Ito yan, no? Cosine mx. And then, we have the uh, last term, sine x dx. And then, i-reduce pa natin. Actually, yung sine squared x dito, tapos magiging ganito, galing lang yan sa trigonometric identity na, na sine squared x equals 1 minus cosine squared x. Okay? So, ito yan, no? And then, you have n minus 1, that's 3 minus 1 over 2. Ano, 3 minus 1, that's 2, divided by 2, that's 1 again. So, hindi na natin kailangan ilagay. And then, you have cosine mx, sine x dx. Okay? So, ito. Uh, pwede natin i-distribute yung cosine 4 sin x dito sa dalawang terms natin sa loob ng parenthesis. And then, we have this one. No? Cosine 4 x sin x, para yan dito. Then, you have cosine 6, kasi cosine 4 times cosine squared, that's cosine 6. And then, meron kang sin x dx. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo dito, pwede natin actually gamitan yan ng uh, u substitution ulit. No? Let u equals cosine, and then du equals negative sine. Yan. So, swak na siya sa yung substitution natin, okay? So, gusto natin ilabas yung negative sign para dito, para diretso talaga na ma-apply natin yung yung substitution. So, yung positive na ito, magiging negative. Since negative times negative, that's positive. Ito namang negative dito, magiging positive na yan. Since positive times negative, that's a negative, okay? So, 
nilagay lang natin talaga yung negative sign dito para lumabas na yan. Di ba kung naalala niya yung mga previous na example natin sa use substitution, meron tayong nilalagay na factor. No? So, pag nadagdag tayo dito, sa, ayan, pag nada, may, meron tayong nadagdag dito, naglalagay tayo ng factor sa labas. So, in this case, yung nadagdag natin is a negative 1 dito. So, kaya maglalagay tayo ng negative 1 din dyan sa labas. No? Para ma-cancel out yung nadagdag natin na uh, value dito. No? In this case, negative. Okay? So, yan. Pwede na natin i-diretso yung integral using u substitution. Okay? So, final answer natin is uh, 1, negative 1, 5 cosine 5. Because n here is 4. So, n plus 1 over n plus 1. And then, dito naman, n equals 6. So, n plus 1 over n plus 1, that's 7, divided by 7, plus c. So, yun na yung final na answer natin for this integral. If, um, in any case, na ang kapartner na or ang exponent naman ng cosine is the odd number, so yung isang form naman yung susundin natin. Tapos pareho lang din na process yung susundin. Ito, no, kailangan ma-reduce sa ganitong form. And then yun, late, uh, pag nandito na, so titignan na lang kung pwede bang ma-substitute or pwede bang ma-distribute or pwede bang i-expand yung uh, nasa parenthesis. So depende lang, no? Uh, kailangan niya lang mag-solve ng additional uh, sample problems no, para mas ma-apply. No? Ma-apply natin yung isa pang equation natin. Okay? So, uh, that's it for, uh, for the case 2. Case 2 ng trigonometric integrals. So, yun. Salamat ulit sa pakikinig at panonood and see you sa next na video upload natin. Thank you.